Hey everybody, welcome to our Wednesday night team call. I'm so excited about this call. I've been looking forward to it all week actually. And we have some real powerhouses on this call tonight and they have agreed to tell us their secrets. So I don't even know, I don't even know where to start. So the first one, um, and you're gonna have to bear with us, Robin has a sick baby, she's still on the call, but um, he might chime in and we're all gonna be okay with that because that's how we roll, right? Um, the first person who's going to share her secrets is my sister, five times Crystal Executive, five years in a row. She has done this not once and not twice and not three times, but five years in a row. And not because she has to, but because she gets excited about the challenge and because she wants to show everybody that's possible. Right, Robin? Absolutely. And so she has become the queen of breaking executives and just um, just in the past month mm -hmm. four people who she was working directly with and coaching went crystal executive which I think is really impressive so um, before before we get interrupted again Robin can you tell us how you do it how do you coach people to crystal executive how do you coach people to breaking consultants and hitting this amazing goal so, I mean, I, I don't think that this is new news to anyone. I think everyone who's done this before knows what it takes. It's, it's up here. First of all, it has to start up here. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to say you're going to do it. You have to set a date you're going to do it by, and you have to make it a thing. I, my, my, my catchphrase is write it down, make it a goal, make it a thing, and then make that thing a reality. And mindset is 99% of the success in getting to Crystal Executive. Because if you believe you can do it, if you declare you're going to do it, and if you um, do what it takes to, you know, the, the follow through on those actions, then it happens. But it is clear intention. It is working on it every day. It is drawing out the map to Crystal Executive and filling in as many holes as you can. And honestly, printing out 25 of them and changing it up every single day and not scratching it out because that's not pretty. I like to have it pretty and I like to know, I basically coach people that there are 30 holes to fill, 30 100 BV orders to get to Crystal Executive. And I coach people to tell me how many holes that they have, uh, and I do this for myself as well, this is how I get there every time, how many holes do you have to get there? And the 30 holes are 10 people that you've personally enrolled who have each enrolled two people. So that's 30 holes. So when people start with me, they're sometimes 17 holes away. Sometimes they're 22 holes away. Sometimes they're 15 holes away. Well, what we do is we systematically plug those holes to the point where they're like, oh my gosh, I'm in the single digits to get to Crystal Executive. I'm seven, I'm six, I'm five, I'm three, I'm two, I'm one hole away. And when it's holes to fill instead of, oh my gosh, I have to go out and find five new business builders, it's a different mentality it's a completely different mindset it's easy to do it's easy to focus on it's easy to take action and to plug those holes and that's how we've done it don and i think that um the people that are on this call that that have recently done it will tell you that when you have that that different perspective of filling 30 holes versus going out and finding 10 business builders um, it's a lot, it's, it's a lot easier to do. And how do you, uh, eat an elephant one small bite at a time? And that's how we get to crystal executive. We make it less intimidating. You're muted. You're muted. So that is awesome. I know that you've been talking about 30 holes for a long time and I have adopted that and I do the same thing when I'm working with people and, um, do you have anything specific that you do to tell them to help them create executives or it's just focus on filling those holes? Well, we do a lot of different things. I mean, there's different, um, the, you know, there's, there's different posts that we do. You know, sometimes we'll run a team cleanse and we'll do the bedtime belly buster or, you know, luckily Isagenic steps in and gives us free enrollment and free shipping and, you know, all of those things combined. But we, um, we definitely, you know, post a sip and sample. Um, do your power post, have your people do power posts, tag your people in your power post, have your people do sip and samples. I mean, there's many different things that happen throughout the time period that are very systematic and very targeted towards helping those people get to consultant. And I think that the people on the call will also share what, what helps them. But I, 
where your focus goes, your energy flows. And when you focus on making consultant, all of a sudden you got someone show up, hey, I'm coming on board and I'm bringing on my husband or I'm bringing on my wife. Great, let's work on that second person. And you really focus on it and it just starts happening. And we call them unicorns, we call them magical, you know, and they, they happen. And every single person who went executive in this past you know, cycle, they had magical, amazing things happen, but it was because they declared it to the universe and they said, I will be executed by this date. And the, then they got into serious action. I know that Nicole's gonna tell you that she has a full-time job and three daughters, and she wasn't going to bed until one o'clock in the morning every night because she was on a mission to do this and you know was waking up at four o'clock in the morning to go to her job and she was on a mission and there was nothing that was going to stop her and when you declare it and you make it a thing and nothing's going to stop you all of a sudden amazing things start happening so it's it's about intent it's about clear intention and then it's just about focusing and and leveraging i use the word leverage a lot when i'm coaching people to executive and you know there are different many different ways to leverage luckily the last time we did this we had the 150 dollars and so basically we were saying give that money back it's it's money that's not in your pocket right you know for the people that you wanted to go consultant and the hundred dollars that they were getting for going consultant so i mean if you really wanted to you could create a consultant and give 250 dollars to the two people and get them the product off and not take any money out of your bank account because when you create a consultant you're getting 150 and when they the people underneath them were creating consultants they were getting 150. So I call it monopoly money. And I say, leverage that money to create consultants because guess what? You create that consultant, they're not going anywhere afterwards, especially when you show them the money. The retention rate goes up by uh, exponentially as soon as they, somebody earns $1. And uh, if you can help them earn 150 or you know, help them, and they wanna help their friends. You know? So let's say they were getting 150, two 30 days, they could give $75 off for each of the 30 days they enrolled underneath them with that $150. And that's how people were doing it. They were giving incentives with their monopoly money, right? It's monopoly money. It's not taking money out of your own account. So many, well, many different. And just so everybody's clear, we don't have the 150 anymore. That was a really great promotion that Isogenics ran that helped a lot of people. But we still have the, the 50 and the 100 when they go consult. And there's still plenty of money in there, right, Robin? Absolutely. Yes. So, Nicole, how about, why don't you go first? Are you ready? Hey guys. Hey. Um, I thought like, I really thought long, can you hear me? Yep. I thought long and hard about what I was going to say. Um, and what I think was the biggest takeaway for me, um, the holes, Robin saying that about the holes really helped me. Uh, the thought of finding all those business builders scared the heck out of me. Um, but when she did write it all out and we sat there and like, oh, okay, I have 16, I think I had like 16 holes or something when I started. Um, but yeah, as you systematically got it down, got it down, it just, it really motivated you to keep going. Um, but my biggest, biggest thing was to talk about it more. You froze. I think I want, I feel like I'm bugging that. But three or four holes, friends, that look like, what, what do you know? I need to lose. You're breaking up, Nicole. Just, you're, Nicole, you're breaking up. I can't hear what you're saying. Is there, a, is there a chance you could move to a different place where maybe you have a better connection and somebody else could go and see if you can play with that? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. And, maybe, and then I'll, call, I'll circle back around to you. What about you, Denise? master enroller i saw you just i saw you just enrolled a value pack today is that right denise yes i did okay yeah who was it um her name is denise i think i found my denise really <laughs> really yeah um she's fired up and it, it wasn't even for her she bought it for her husband but we started her account because she's driven she wants to uh she sees the the vision and she knows that this is gonna be a great opportunity for her, so. How did she see the vision? Did she see uh, the vision? We had coffee year? together. Oh, you cast the vision and she saw it. Is that what yeah. happened? Yeah, exactly. So, um, 
as far as like creating consultants, um, I'm going to just say exactly what Robin said as far as your focus and your belief, but I'm going to add something that really has changed for me and it's confidence. Confidence is what really makes the difference. Confidence matters. It's that belief that you have in yourself, but it's a belief that you can count on yourself. For me, it's that inner motivation, that inner drive that keeps me motivated. But it's the confidence, it's trusting my gut in, in the places that I find myself. So um, exactly like Robin fills holes, I have a, my whiteboard where I'm continually, that's where I draw out my crystal executive map. So I don't have to have 25 copies. I'm, you know, wiping away or adding to and numbering and doing it that way. But it, just like Robin referred to the holes, always looking who's a pirate, who needs one more and so on to build um, that, you know, those consultants. But how do we get our members to become consultants? This is not anything new. It's not anything new. It's um, helping our team members when they're on day five and they're feeling amazing. It's constructing the actual text for them that they're going to either send or the post that they're going to post. It's helping them do it, not just telling them to do it. It's using their exact words and then asking them if they feel comfortable posting that on their page and then following their responses. Almost like uh, you're that invisible person that's side texting them. Okay, reply this, say this to Monica because Monica asked this. All right, show me what she replied. All right, now say this back. It's, it's spoon feeding our new members that have no idea how to do this or what to say. We have the what, you know, the say, share, do, but when you're side by side, this person, and I don't mean sitting side by side because that's not possible, but through text and private message, just helping in that way to create, you know, help them become a consultant. It's the oh my gosh text, Dawn, that you're always um, reminding us of. And thank you for sharing with us um, all those, all that banked volume that our team members had. I mean, that yellow list that you provided for us was very valuable. Reaching out and letting these people know that they have this banked volume and how they can get it in their pocket instead of in their account. Um, and we did something, um, we've been doing this for a while now. We have a team inspiration member in the spotlight. Well, we're strategically picking who that member in the spotlight is a lot of the times so that they are excited to be the member of the spotlight. We're excited that they want to be it. They're actually going to be seen on their personal page being interviewed by one of us. So it's kind of, you know, um, it's like doing that power post, but it's a video of the actual interview. And a couple consultants were created that way. Um, but honestly, it really just comes down to being confident and putting it out there that you are going to become a crystal executive. It's, um, what did we learn at New Year's kickoff? It's not over until I win. I can't tell you guys how many times I said that to myself when I was doubting myself out, like, oh my gosh, I still need, you know, three more consultants. But then as Robin stated, the magic happens, the, the, the unicorns come from who knows where, and these people are just showing up because it's not over until you win. That was awesome. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. It's your posture, right? Confidence and posture. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Seems like I said all the time, right? It's your posture. It's all, it's, your posture is everything. Everything. Thank you so much. What do you got, Monica Sisk? Let me unmute myself. Hi, everybody. Um, so I guess everything that Robin has said, of course, um, the holes were a huge thing for me on the mindset once you put those out there. But I guess my tidbit for tonight would actually be kind of your mindset towards how you create consultants. And it's not just in 
this, the mindset of business builders. I think a lot of times we get stuck on, I need to find this big business builder. But when you're going for executive, you really just need a consultant. And a consultant is someone who shared with their wife and a best friend. And that's it. It even can be someone who just buys, you know, four shakes. And so um, that was one big thing for me. But the other big thing uh, that I think helped as well is every time I do a box opening, I introduce how they can share. I do it very easily. I throw it in at the end of the conversation and I make sure that I put it in there every single time. And it's just as simple as you know, I've already gone through their whole box. They haven't even started it yet. And I just jump in and I say, oh, wait, by the way, I just want to let you know when people see how amazing you look and tell you how fabulous you're looking and ask you what you're doing, feel free to realize that you can have your food paid for. So they haven't even tasted the product. They literally are just now learning about it. And that is when I put that seed. I don't push them and say, you know what, let's do the business. You can grow to this. No, I just say, you know what, let's get your food paid for because people are going to ask you what you're doing because you look amazing and they get excited about that. So that time, two weeks from now, when someone says, Whoa, she looks good. That thought of me telling her in her mind of, Oh, you know what? Monica said, when someone says that, this is what I do. And I think that's key. And then, um, so that's one big thing. And the other thing that I do as well is I've learned not to be afraid to reach out to brand new people on the call and say, Hey, you know what? Do you have someone else who would want to do this with you? Like, because accountability in this program is huge. More than likely people say, Hey, you know what? My sister would love to do this. I want to do this with my husband. And you immediately have a pirate, you know? So you have your pirate and then all of a sudden someone says, well, you look great. Uh, why are you eating a shake at work? Done. I want to do what you're doing and you have your consultant it doesn't have to be a business builder. They don't have to be worried about, you know, am I going to run with it forever? No. When you're building your executive uh, holes, that's all you need. It's super simple. And I think sometimes we make it extremely difficult. And um, once I realized that, I think that was a, a huge help for me. So, hope that helps. Awesome. Is anybody else taking notes? Like, <laughs> No, I'm not kidding. Member in the spotlight, Denise? Brilliant. I think we'll, maybe we'll be seeing some more of that. I think that that's an amazing idea. And Monica, I, I love it. Your wife and your best friend. Let's go. You know, get your accountability buddies and let's get your product paid for. It's just, it's, they want to hand, the ICFX wants to give this to you. They want yeah, to and another thing too, I think a lot of people get really worried about you know, I don't want to be a part of an MLM. Well, I don't even talk about it being an MLM. You know, I communicate that um, you know, this company doesn't advertise. You don't see them, you know, in the commercials, the way they, you know, they give their money back to you. You are their advertisement. You're eating the food. You're walking billboard. So they're going to give you a referral bonus. And people say, oh, cool. I have a referral bonus. That, that, there's no commitment there. But what will happen is the more times they do it, though, as Robin says over and over again, when someone sees the money, they're hooked. You know what I mean? And, and it's true. And once they see that they're getting paid and how easy it is to share because they love the product and they're losing weight. Um, and that's another key. You want to make sure that you're coaching your people well, that they do have success. If they don't have success and you're not coaching them well, there's not going to be a walking billboard of how awesome Mycogenics is. So that's another thing. You have to be consistent on coaching well so that they can show others without even saying anything and at that point and so that they order next month right because oh, you don't want to get all the way to executive and then have it all fall apart exactly we all yep. know how that is right so you want yeah. you want you need to coach them well so that so that they're going to order the products the next month so you don't have yep. to go find create all new consultants right sure yep because once you get there and you guys all know this once you get there that going executive is the gateway to the money in this company, absolutely. No question about it. It's access to the leadership pools. It, it's access to the higher rank advancement bonuses. It's access to the cycle match. I mean, it, it's the access to the, the serious money in the company. So once you get there, you, you don't wanna fall back. You wanna make sure that you're really focused on, on staying there, right? So Really quick, Monica, and, and you don't have to elaborate. Who's the one consultant that you're the most excited about right now? Um, right now, I would say um, it's a friend from Shane's back in high school. His name's Howie. He and his wife immediately jumped right on. Um, the awesome thing is I, I did 
his box opening. Before I even got to his box opening, I did the same thing that I just said. I said, hey, by the way, just so you know, you already signed up Dawn, which is his wife. And I said, you know what? If you get this um, one more person, I didn't say double PIBs. I said, you know, you have the possibility of doubling, you know, your bonus. And he goes, oh yeah, I already read, a, I already watched a video. You mean double PIBs. And I was like, whoa, this guy already watched a video. He knows the, the terminology. I was excited. I was like, okay, I'm watching you. You're on fire. So that's the one I'm excited about right now. Got it. Howie, what's his last name? Um, Kennedy. Kennedy. What about yeah. you, Denise? Like, wh which new consultant are you the most excited about? Oh, that's tough. Uh, let me look at my list. Um, I would have to say Chris Peroni or Chris Perone. She owns a boutique and she actually wants to um, figure out the best way to tell her uh, customers that come into the store about Isogenics. Oh, that's exciting. We talked about it. Instead of having my cards there or anything, um, when they're complaining because how often do we do that when we're in a fitting room like oh i love this but i wish i could just lose 10 pounds she's going to say oh my gosh i have a friend who can help you do that so it's going to take it off of her but actually it will be helping her got it that's exciting i'll watch yeah. i'll watch out for her i'm writing them down okay nicole did you find a better internet spot can you hear me now uh-huh i can okay. Okay, I'm outside. Um, okay, I don't know what you heard before, but really my main takeaway from doing this is just a couple things. Like Robin said, I said to her, I was in the drive through at Starbucks one afternoon and she called and we were chatting and I'm like, I'm doing this. Like, it's done. I'm getting it done before the deadline. This is happening. It's been two and a half years. So it was a long time coming. Um, but it was the first time that my mind really focused on, like, I'm not gonna let this pass me by this time, right? Um, so I would say your mindset, like everyone else has said on the phone, um, the holes, filling the holes helped me so much The building, you know, all this building, getting all those business builders really scared me. Um, but when she, we wrote it all out and just filled the holes with hundred BV orders, which just simplified it for me in my head, made me feel like, okay, I, I might be able to do this. Right. Um, and third, what really helped is just telling more people about it in my friend circle. Um, a lot of my friends have joined, a lot of my coworkers have joined, but my last few holes were really people that just wanted to help me. And that's all something that Robin's been saying on these calls for years. Like your friends want to help you. They want to help you. I mean, she said it so many times. I don't know why it just never clicked until these last four days of racing for executive. And literally one of my, one of my girlfriends was like, here's my credit card, Nicole. What do you need? Get me four shakes. So it was really just sharing, you know, sharing my experience with the business part of it um with people that are you know close friends that i think at the end really really say, like really got me home i would say like three or four of them were people that were just wanted to help me right that you know we're looking you know well, what, what can we do i can help you out what do you need um and if i had never said anything which i haven't been talking to him about it, i mean i i always talk about isogenics but i just i don't ever talk about like the business part of it i guess with my close close friends because I don't know, we're always talking about our kids and my other job and everything else. Um, so I really focused on that. Not really, you know, I focused on it after it started to work. But <laughs> it was kind of by accident, really, at the beginning. But well, what, like what, said, what, what was your driver? What made you decide to do it? What made you decide to go for it? Um, okay, this is going to sound childish. I don't know who's, on, who's all on the call. But like I said before, okay, so Crosby is how old? Two and a half? Two. I went to I went director when Crosby was when when uh, Crosby was born, okay, and I was trying to get to executive then, and I felt like I just fell off. Like Robin had the baby, and I want to bug her, and I just was like happy at director. You know, I played in the pools. I'm making extra money. You know, this is a side job for me. Um, I love the family. I love all my friends here. Like it just really fulfills me just that part. Like I felt like I didn't really need it, but it kind of got embarrassing like going to all these events and I'm like, I'm still director. I'm still director, still director. Um, so I guess part of it was just like this competitive, like I didn't want to be left out anymore. Like, and not that Robin ever leaves me out, but <laughs> I felt like, you know, I'm not missing out on this stuff. Like I'm going to whatever party she's having. I'm like, 
getting a lanyard that says executive. I don't care what I need to do. Like, this is going to happen. Wearing your Tiffany um, earrings. Yes, I'm going to get my, I just ordered them yesterday, just uh, placed my order yesterday. Yeah, like, I just, I felt like after being involved in this, which this experience as a whole has just been so life-changing for me. I'm so, so grateful. So, so grateful for it. Um, and being a director was, I was content. I was fine. Um, but I don't know, like friends started getting it and I thought this, I cannot be left behind. Like it's embarrassing. I've been on this team too long, <laughs> not to, not to continue going for it. So that definitely like pushed me, I think a little harder than before. And which of your new consultants are you the most excited about? I would say my neighbor Janine, because she's been doing the products for a couple years now. Um, and she's always like, no, you take the person, you take the person, you take the, I don't know, I don't know, no, I don't want to do it, I want to do it. And um, she signed up two people and like, now every time she gets an email that she's getting money, she's like beside herself excited. So <laughs> I'm like very, I'm excited with her because she's like, oh, I just got $60, what's happening? And she's all excited. So it's been fun to kind of watch her, you know. Can she come to the next and now she's thinking, since like, she's local? Yeah, she's local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she lives right down the street. So it's been fun to kind of guide her and watch her through the beginning process. That is awesome. Thank you so much. I your friends want to help you out. That was my biggest takeaway. Yeah. Don't, don't get left behind. <laughs> and your yeah. friends want to help you out. They do. I say it all the time. They do. People want to help you. They just don't know how unless you tell them. So tell unless them. Unless you tell them. Absolutely. Right. I agree 100%. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for moving to Thanks. where we could hear you. Thanks. And we have, is Julie Marie here? Yep, there she is. Julie, you're going to, you're, you're anchoring the team. Yes. Bring it Try. on home. <laughs> I'm here. So, so tell, me, <laughs> tell me what happened. Tell me what happened at, Ro at Robin's Island party. Tell me what happened. So that was a combination of several things. So I had just gone director and, um, so I had all the holes. I mean, from director to executive, I had all the holes. And um, I, I, ha I have not really enrolled, a, I, what I, I, I have personally enrolled, I mean, on my account, just like two people since the beginning of the year. We've put two under Sean, I put a few under my dad. And I, you know, I haven't done the work from the beginning of the year and um we've had all kinds of financial issues um we had to replace dig up our whole front yard and replace a water line we had a townhome rental unit that we had to pay a double mortgage on for four months last year um that isogenics paid the mortgage or else we would have had to go bankrupt and um you know, so I've, we've been making some money from Isogenics enough to pay a mortgage. And I was looking across the table and um, Brian had brought his new person, which is Ashley. You all have now, now know Ashley. Um, and Ashley's sitting there with like stars in her eyes. You know, they'd been mapping out um, her path and, you know, she's sitting there with a hundred people on a list and she's been in the, you know, been had a box for like two days and she's got a hundred people she wants to share this with. And, you know, her and um, Robin had been mapping things out for a half hour before, maybe even an hour before I got there. And I have always said that, you know, I am a leader. And when I'm looking at her and she's like, I want to make this work. I'm like, well, leaders lead. And I just decided, you know, Adam and Robin are looking at, you know, and it's just like, so are you, are you going to do this? And I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm doing this. And so I went home and I, while I sat there at the table, I kind of just went through my whole tree while they were talking and wrote down everybody that could possibly be a consultant, you know, like somebody who had BV, somebody who, you know, had, you know, had a great, you know, a great transformation, but hasn't shared with anyone yet. And you know, just all of the reasons why people could go consultant. And I sat there and I, I mapped it all out. And the next day I started calling them all. And I figured out which ones, um, you know, were interested. We got power posts up and, you know, um, 
I started calling every lead. Now I've added 150 people to my Facebook since the January 1st. So I haven't enrolled in very many people. I hadn't done a, much follow up. I hadn't done hardly any work, but I have done the work to make new contacts. And so I started following up like crazy with just all of my people that I wanted to make consultant, all the people that I had made, done leads with, I started sending out crazy amounts of messages. And as it ended up turning out, um, we uh, signed up some family members. And I personally, the reason that I won, the, that I'm winning the trip and that I stayed executive for three weeks is because I personally enrolled 11 people under my people in four days. And... Um, and in addition to the people that actually enrolled their own people and did made pirate or consultant on their own. And, and, um, and what I realized, I'm getting emotional. What I realized in this was that number one is that I had to shed the idea that the only people that should go consultant were the people that are building a business. Like I, I had to listen to the, um, uh, is it, uh, don't make it weird. Um, is it Lindsay Wynia? I, I listened yes. to yeah. don't make it weird over and over and over and over again. Um, that from like 6am until 8am, I just played it nonstop and just listened and listened and listened. I play pieces back and I'm like, that's the piece I'm missing. That's the piece I'm missing. And so before I made all the phone calls to the people that I wanted to make consultant, um, or, you know, see go consultants, I listened to that and I was like, you're not going to make it weird today. And because I have been doing that and, um, you know, because I, I'm, my network marketing background is a business where you enroll business builders. You didn't really sell a lot of products. You just, you enrolled people that bought their own products. And I, I have had, it's taken me two years to shed that. And sitting there across the, the table from Brian and Ashley, I'm like, it's time to build this business and stop trying to build the old, the other one. And, um, and that was the biggest thing. And, um, you know, I just, and like Robin said, you know, when you decide, you decide that it's, it's done. And I really didn't think that I would do it in four days, but I, I sure enough did. And, um, and then I, managed to lock it in for three weeks. So I'm going on this trip. And um, the other thing was, is that, you know, I really needed the 1500 for director and I really needed the $2,000 from executive. I really, really needed it. Our income circle. I mean, we were in about that much debt on a credit card and, and more. And um, I need the executive money. And um that made a big difference too. But Dawn, you've been telling me from the beginning, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars a month make a big difference to people. Well, we own four restaurants. I work full time. My husband works full time. I've got three kids. I've got two little ones and an, a teenager that's now graduating from from high school. And you know if I want to make 300 extra dollars a month, then I just need to do more network. I need to do more marketing for our restaurants and we would make $300 extra more a month. So making it in this and trying to make people do this business when they don't see the vision necessarily, because I wasn't casting it very well, um, uh, was, uh, you know, just, it seemed hard. And, when I realized I listened to that, I listened to that so many times the, the don't make it weird. I was like, this is not hard. Like, like Monica said, it's not hard to get someone to get their husband to go ahead and finally eat and have some shakes and their best friend that's been watching them for months to go ahead and buy, buy some shit. Like that is not hard. And, um, so, and then I just realized I'm like, if I want to stay executive, well, I just keep talking to the next person. And I, you know, it doesn't have to be these same 10 people that stay, keep me executive. It just needs to be 10 people. And so I was like, whoa, wait a second. Like, I don't, I don't have to make this person that I made consultant that really kind of, you know, like wanted to get there, but you know, like they're fine with the 200 bucks. They just in the cat, the, the, the bank BB that they cashed in. And I had one guy that made 600 bucks and 
I, I, for the life of me, I could not talk him into putting, splitting his order and paying 10 extra dollars to ship on a different account. And so I finally just placed an order that I, you know, sold some shakes and got it and placed it under him. And all of a sudden the next day he's like, I just made 600 bucks. And I was like, that's what I was trying to tell you. But it was like, you know, 10 o'clock at night on the Sunday night. And I was like, you know what, forget it. I'll just do it. <laughs> Now he gets it. Now he's like sharing with people, you know, like now he's like really going to be a real consultant. And he's the one that I'm most, I'm most excited about. And that's Tim Moore. So Tim Moore. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've seen him. I got it. Tim Moore. Yes. All right. We are, I'm going to give two minutes for what you, one lucky person can unmute and ask somebody a question if you'd like to, because I want this to be short enough that people can come back and watch it. So one person, unmute yourself and go if you want to ask a question. Okay, Mr. Chance, you have the experts in front of you. You have five people in front of you that all went crystal executive and we know that's what everybody wants to do because again, executive is the access to the real money in this company. Like. If you, if you don't take away anything else from this call, take that away and then get your head on, get your mind set and then reach out to somebody that they're, what, what they shared or the way that they did it really resonated with you. I'm sure any of the people on this call, right, would be happy to connect with you and, you know, tell you more about what they did or, or, or give you a hand, but get clear. You want to get to executive and you want to stay there because that's where, I mean, the executive leadership pools, $5,000 a month, $5,000 you could make. Like that's, and, and you can come into the executive leadership pools making, cycling two or three times. So here you are cycling two or three times, maybe you're making $100, $150 a week and you can access $5,000 in a month, that's insane. And it's real. So get to work. Hopefully you heard something inspirational. I know I sure did. I took notes. I got notes for everybody. I've got some new people to watch out for on the team that I'm excited about watching their progress. And um, thank you, ladies. Thank you, everybody, for sharing how you do it and sharing what worked for you because I, I'm very hopeful that there's some people on this call tonight who had a, an aha moment and heard something that's going to make them go, I'm making it weird. Don't make it weird. Everybody wants to help me out. Who has a best friend? It, my posture's been off. I need to work on my posture. Like whatever it is, whatever you heard, fix it and get to work. Thanks everybody. Great call. Great call everybody. Thanks ladies. Great call guys. Thanks.